Well, here we are, Mesa Verde National Park. Mm -hmm. Now, Mesa Verde is a... The World Heritage Site. So, um, it's not just a national park. It's important to the world. So, uh, you know, there's only a few parks, I believe this one and Yellowstone, that are considered World Heritage Sites. So, we're going to go check it out and see what it's all about. Mm-hmm. This is the nice thing about having the tow car now is it is really stressful for Mitch to go into cities and I love to drive so but I don't like to drive the big old rig so compromise is he drives the rig I drive the little car we both get what we want wahoo so we're on we get the to tour yeah like this This is kind of the lesser visited side of Mesa Verde National Park. And right now we're sitting right in front of the Nordenskold site. His name was Gustav Nordenskold, and I guess the Weatherill family take, took him out here, and they he found a bunch of archaeological sites. Let's take a look. named after him. Check it out. Hey, this is a pit house at Mesa Verde. Pit houses were first originated around 550 AD. The ancient culture used to be a nomadic uh, people at that time, and when they started cultivating their own crops, they had to build more permanent housing. So this pit house here, you can see in the middle there, is a fire pit. And the uh, two holes on the side would hold the beams that would hold the the roof up above them. So, and there's a, a pit of in the corner there with the rocks in it, and that's what they would use to, to heat the place. A heating pit, they called it. About 750 AD, they started building larger community structures. So we're here at Longhouse. Uh, it is one of the places in the park where you can buy tickets and take a tour. And unfortunately, we did not do that today. But um, it's, it's, look at this behind us. It's big. It was actually pretty much left untouched until the National Park Service came in here and excavated it. And 1958 to 1961 or something. So, 
Yeah, so uh, if you get a chance, come on down and take a tour, but you got to be in good shape. You have ladders and stuff to, to climb here. Wow. Cliff Palace, and um, it's probably the one you can get closest to without actually going in. And it's also one that you can have a tour with a ranger, but you have to have a ticket. Awesome. Yeah. Want to check it out? Let's do it. All right. Check it out. Hey. We've been driving around Mesa Verde National Park and I think we've seen at least six cliff dwellings since we've been nice. driving. Nice. Amazing right? sights. Never knew there were so many. Amazing. So what was happening though in the 1880s and 1890s is people were coming in and excavating or looting and excavating out the sites and Bad. a couple of local women they, Lucy Peabody and Virginia McClurg. Yeah, they remember those names. They saw the importance in saving these cliff dwellings and the rich cultural history. So anyway, it was then that they started pushing Congress, and Congress made it a national park in 1906. Awesome. There you go. See what hot spots we get ourselves into next. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, and YouTube at Roadward Bound and look for RoadwardBound.com too. Like and subscribe. Thank you.